Next time you walk into a voting booth, think about this. Guys are dying for you to go check that box. That's the connection you need to make. From the very beginning of this country, people have been willing to die for your ability to walk into that booth and vote. Those men sacrificed their lives so your opinion would have an impact on our government. So take your responsibility as an American citizen seriously. Frankly, I don't care which way you vote as long as you take some time to form your own opinion. And don't be part of the 30% who will go wherever they're told by some commercial they saw. What are the issues that matter most to you and where do the candidates fall on them? Do your own research and don't get caught up in the hype. There are families that don't have a husband, a father, and a son anymore because they fought for your freedom. I know damn well those families are thinking long and hard about who they elect as a leader based on what their loved ones gave their lives for. Not because of his skin or political party, but because of his worth to those that have gone before all of us to defend this country and its freedoms. Someone that will lead from the front and fight for nothing except for the freedoms and values that guys have sacrificed everything for. A government of the people, for the people, and by the people. Just by being a citizen, you are swearing an oath to uphold the Constitution. Think about that. You are responsible for doing everything you can to defend freedom. You and people like you hold the power in this country. That's an idea a lot of people have found worth dying for. We are the government, don't get it confused. The people that are going to come out of their houses to protect us in a crisis are you, me, and us. We are the leaders. When you fail to assume your responsibility as a citizen, when you don't bother to think about the direction we're headed and the choices we're making as a country, when you spend more time thinking about your fast food order than your vote, that is a direct failure of leadership. Because at that point, when something goes wrong, it's not your elected official's fault, it's your fault.